Hey guys, it's good to be back. This past weekend, my friends and I traveled up north to one of my favorite places in the whole world. We got to stay at this beautiful resort called Lodge at Marconi, which is nestled on Tamales Bay and has beautiful views where you can watch sunsets and sunrises and just enjoy being in nature. So thank you, Lodge Marconi, and thank you, Olivia, for setting this all up for us. Something that's so special about Tamales Bay, but really Marin County in general, is that there is just so much beautiful hiking. Like, some of the best in the world, I'm absolutely positive. So, this morning, we got up and we headed to the Thule Elk Preserve on the tip of Tamales Bay. Our hike started off at an old dairy farm. It's kind of fun to imagine all the cows and all the people that used to live here when it was functional. What a special place for a farm. This is kinda gonna look like a solo adventure because of how I filmed it but I can't stress how nice it was to be with such a wonderful group of friends. Many of us who were on this adventure had only met one another a couple of times, but because of all the connecting points of friendships, we knew everybody in the group was such good people. Like, I couldn't have asked for a better group to be on this adventure with. One of my favorite parts about the Thule Elk Preserve up here is that it's a peninsula. So basically anywhere you look, you can see and hear the ocean. Usually, this area is really foggy, but this weekend we were blessed with some of the best wow. weather I've ever seen up here. Don't squat. Don't squat right here. Squat. It was really hard not to just sit down and look out for the whole day. And of course, it was cool to see the namesake of this reserve. And this one was my favorite. We ended up having lunch at Point Reyes Station. If you ever get the opportunity to visit, grab some sandwiches at the grocery store in town. They are incredible. <laughs> 
Now our trip up here wouldn't have been complete without a visit to Point Reyes National Seashore. Being here has really got me thinking about what's important in life and what kind of directions I want to go. Sometimes being in Los Angeles and getting caught up in all of the hustle and bustle and pressure and desire to be famous or important, it can really weigh on you. Being here has really reminded me that I'm not meant to be in the city forever. But I know that for right now, LA is where I need to be. So, in the meantime, I will take as many adventures and enjoy as many places as I can until this is where I am all the time. I think if there's anything this trip has taught me is that you really need to surround yourself with good people. Ones you can support and trust. And if it wasn't for LA, I wouldn't have gotten to meet many of the people that made this trip what it was. Some people call this community. But I think a better word for this is love. 